jobs. Meghan Markle, America's laziest interviewer, has found a new way to get paid for doing nothing. She doesn't actually bother to speak to her stereotype guests. And according to The Sun, Meghan talks far more than her guests on a podcast. She's the most airtime in 7 in 10 episodes of her Spotify show Archetypes. That is despite promising intimate and candid conversations with celebrities. In the first episode, Meghan spoke for nearly twice as long as Serena Williams, 30 minutes and 6 seconds compared to the tennis icon's 17 minutes 12 seconds. In episode 8, the Duchess clocked up 26 minutes 1 second. Canada's first lady, Sophie Trudeau, one of three guests, spoke for just 2 minutes 9 seconds. In episode 5, Meghan talked for 24 minutes 16 seconds. Despite vowing to subvert the labels that try and hold women back, Meghan found time to mention Harry 11 times in all. An article by Cockburn is spot on in his article in The Spectator World. The writer said, Remember Oprah Winfrey's bombshell interview with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry earlier this year, in which she stroked the subject's egos and failed to probe them on any of their hyperbolic claims? Well, Cockburn has found an even worse interviewer than Oprah, Meghan Markle. Listening to Archetypes, Meghan's podcast about dissecting labels, Cockburn found it a little weird that the guests never spoke over each other. You'd think that as the interviewees, they try and get a word in edgeways through Meghan's babbling. After labelling the show a candid conversation, it seems the conversation is actually happening without Meghan. One of the podcast guests has revealed that she didn't actually speak to Meghan for the show in an Instagram post. Alison Yarrow from New York appeared on The Duchess's show last week in an episode called To Be or Not To Be, where she spoke about the word bitch. In her post, Alison shared a photograph of herself in front of a sign for Gimlet, the audio production house run by ex-Obama staffers behind Pod Save America, and thanked a producer, Farah Safari, for being an excellent interviewer. But in the show, Alison's comments are interspersed with comments from Meghan herself. This isn't the first time people have questioned whether Meghan actually speaks to her interviewees. After an episode with Justin Trudeau's wife Sophie, an old Markle friend from a suits days in Montreal, it was clear that the conversation was recorded in separate studios. As podcast producer JP Davidson tweeted, thrilled to finally share that Sophie Gregory Trudeau was in our studio with producer Will for her interview with Meghan Markle. Even after leaving the British royal family, Meghan Markle has found a new way to get paid for doing nothing. Meghan Markle's Archetypes podcast on Spotify is winning her tons of detractors. Why? How about her fake voice, pity party attitude and mockney accent? All of these things have been brought up as examples of Meghan not knowing how to fit in. 